Joe Orsini. I work at Coach Performance. Since a very young age, even on my PW80, I learned that I could break things very easily. And that's when Dan kind of came into my life as a very, at a very young age, and he started fixing all the things that I broke, he weld everything that I broke, get new parts and do all mechanical work on my bikes, and I just was really good at breaking everything I got. It was, it was a good opportunity for Dan, I think, to learn how to actually weld really good. Weld things so they wouldn't break as easily. But I still put it to the test. Since I think it was 2016, I started going to Daytona with him right when he got out of the shop and right off of Main Street. And I've been going to Daytona with him ever since. And one thing led to another. I kept on telling him, oh, I'm going to quit my job and start come to work for you. And one day it just kind of happened. And finally, it just evolved into me working side by side with him, learning everything that he does and trying to build a legacy out of it, I guess. So at the end of 2019, Dan started building a frame to join the 45 hot class at Sons of Speed. Since he already had an early 61, he wanted to get a faster bike. And uh, he built the frame and the chassis, total completely ground up custom bike that we've never done before and he's never done before. So we built that from scratch based off of earlier Gixxer. I mean, we're sport bike guys, so we had to bring some of our taste into the antique world, you know. Core track has been around for over 100 years, and to have something like our bike, it's completely unique. And uh, Steve Royals from Detroit, he built a motor that ended up going into that bike. So when we went down to Daytona that first year in March of 2020, Steve didn't even know I was riding the bike, and he found out basically the day that we went to the track for the first time. He was really worried, but I told him not to worry, and it turned out to be okay. He believed me after I did a couple hot laps. But uh, the day before, the first day I practice, that rolling chassis and that motor have never met. We ended up putting on the track less than 24 hours later, which I thought was pretty cool. So this year at Sons of Speed, we were really excited. I was coming back to defend my title since the last race was in Tennessee and I won. And it was at first, the first couple of practice days, we had the bike completely dialed in. It was perfect. We changed some jetting, did a couple of minor tuning things. And during practice, the bike was running amazing. I was feeling really comfortable on it. Before the race, a couple months, I ended up having surgery twice. I had a, you know, emergency surgery for internal bleeding. So I was a little weary, but after going on practice and doing some hot laps, I was really comfortable, I was really excited. And then race day, the first heat, I demolished everyone. I was super excited, I was very confident. And my second heat, found out this dude, Tim Joyce, was super fast etched him out a little bit, just enough to get the win. I was super excited about, and I realized, like, all right, I got this in the bag, and I was really confident in much more. And um, going into the semifinals was well, basically the end of my day. <laughs> oh, we have a rider down. Joe Orsini is down. Started racing, uh, got a bunch of different people in the class, some fast bikes, some not so fast bikes. There was a lot of lap traffic to say the least. And the last lap going into turn one and two, a full bore. I knew I had Jake right behind me. I was chasing down Tim Joyce. I was running in second. And I went to the, I just went in really hot. Didn't realize that there was lap traffic up ahead. Got into a tight situation, ended up colliding with another rider. Took a, took a ride, hitting the wall at about 70, 75 miles an hour. And Concrete walls are not soft, so I ended up uh, spraining both my ankles, broke my tailbone, shattered my L1 disc, ended up having a five disc fusion, broke my scapula, but we're about eight weeks out from that accident now, and I'm kind of back to work, kind of moving around, doing as much as I can without hurting myself anymore, going to PT twice, three times a week sometimes, and just doing it day by day. A lot of ups and downs when I was in the hospital, but one of the worst parts, you know, we have a 
party at our shop every year called Tacos and Burnouts from Toast Performance and Cycle Source, and we just usually have a big party, a bunch of food, DJ and all this stuff, and food trucks. And this year, I miss it. I was in the hospital with a broken back, and I'm all messed up and bed, couldn't walk. But uh, it was from videos, and I ended up FaceTiming a couple people while they were at the party, so I felt like I was there for a minute, but it sucked not being there. But next year, it's gonna be huge, and I'm planning on being there. Hopefully not hit another wall, but we'll see. But it was a blast. People were posting, everybody from everywhere came. They were having stunt shows in the middle of the road right in front of us. Hundreds of bikes were there. It just looked awesome. A bunch of people from the industry, big names. Just, I was really upset that I missed that part, but happy that everybody had a good time. How you doing? I'm Dan Toast. I'm Joe Orsini. Um, we're here today. This is uh, we're showing you an exhaust that I built for Joe a few years ago, before he started working here, and um, he's debuted this thing. It's been all over the country. A lot of response. A lot of people. Um, you know, with us being in the V, you know, breaking into the V twin industry, uh, a lot of people are looking at our stuff now and. This is one of the, the designs that we're probably going to refine a little bit and, and bring to market. Uh, but the first five units we're going to release early, and uh, that's going to be to release uh, to raise money for Joe. Okay, when Billy asked us to do this exhaust, we got a huge response on people loving this exhaust, loving the style. Um, we decided, since we're all in the Sons of Speed family, that we're going to uh, call this one the bootlegger, and we're going to put it into production. The first ones we're going to raffle off to raise money for Josh Owens. We did one for Joey, which is the, uh, we haven't named it, but it's, so far it looks like it's going to be the perpetrator. Uh, but this one's going to be the bootlegger. So anything we can do to raise money for Josh Owens is greatly appreciated. 